The Rico Theta X has a lot of great new video features that makes it fantastic for many types of business use. Let's check out some of these new API settings. There is much more configuration of the video resolution and frame rate than in previous models. This is especially exciting for industrial use where people are using frame extraction to convert the videos into images. It's very exciting that the new Theta X can all take it at these higher resolutions and lower frame rates. The lower frame rate makes the video size smaller. In this demonstration, we're using set options to change the format of the, the file format of the video, which is one of the parameters. And we're using start video or start capture and stop capture to start and stop the video. In addition to industrial use, the X has these great new uh, API support for 5.7K uh, video at 30 frames per second. So pretty exciting. Uh, it's the first Theta to support uh, 60 frames per second. And I tested it out, it, it looks quite good. I'm not really an expert on videography and so I didn't think that the 60 frames per second would make that much of a difference, but I can actually see the difference. It, the 60 frames per second is nice. So the API seems to be pretty solid with all of the, uh, the settings being set up and the start and stop video works good. Let's go check out the files and see whether I actually saved it. For this demonstration, I just connected the Theta X with a USB cable to my Windows PC. The camera appears like a storage device on the desktop. And so I'm just gonna drag and drop it for this demonstration over to a folder on my Windows uh, computer so that we can check it out. Both the Web API and the USB API do support file transfer. So you could transfer the videos over with either of these two uh, APIs. However, you can also just plug in the camera and have it appear as a storage device. Uh, if I just click on the, or double click on the file within Windows 10, you, the basic built-in video player of Windows does support these great Theta X 360 video files. And right-clicking on the video file and viewing the details of it in the Windows File Explorer does show that it is saving it in the correct format. So metadata shows that it's in the right format and the video plays. Uh, just to give you a better idea of how this might be used in the field, I'm just gonna go outside briefly and walk around with the camera taking So I am using a special mobile app to start the video or to set up the 7.6K video. Then I start it and I start walking around. So it should be taking it 7.6K. And we're gonna then use the frames from it as still images in the future. The most likely use of this technique is at construction sites or you're at a hiking trail and you are walking around and doing street view photography. The idea is to convert these 7.6K video frames into still images. However, for this demonstration, we'll leave it as a video and we'll just pause it and inspect it. It looks great. Uh, the resolution is fantastic. In my opinion, it's a quantum leap forward compared to the previous Rico Theta models for this type of use. After using the built-in Windows application, I decided to switch over to the official Rico Theta desktop application. I did not attempt to use any top-bottom correction. These are for the purpose of most likely converting it into still images. And occasionally I'll pause it and zoom in and it looks fantastic. I'll be using this feature quite a bit myself. Wow, this is a fantastic way to take a bunch of still images very easily just by walking around. 
The format in video actually makes it somewhat easy to scroll through it and find the exact frame that you want uh, for extraction. Of course, you can extract all the frames uh, automatically with different types of software. I am super excited by this new API support and expect it to be used quite a bit for different types of remote use. This is one of the most requested features on the Theta360.guide community forums. And it's great to see such an awesome implementation by a major hardware vendor here. The resolution and the quality of the frames are so fantastic that I keep forgetting that I'm actually looking at video frames and not the still images themselves. I'm just using the default settings. I have not looked into changing any of the other settings for color, lighting, or other adjustments that it may be possible. I haven't checked it out yet, but it looks good as it is. In fact, the detail is so good that I feel compelled to take out some of the weeds from that gravel path next to my house there, next to the holes. It's winter here in California and those weeds have really taken over. So I have to uh, trim those back. For construction sites, you can zoom in on different parts, for example, the balcony and see what the state of the construction progress is. It'd also be great for hiking where you can just keep walking down a trail and produce something very similar to uh, Google Street View when you're in a car.